Hey, do you guys remember these little guys? Yeah, not so little anymore. They're as big as some other parents were when we first got them. Way back in the back. I moved things around a bit. See the uh, open window here. It was too small. I'm not putting out enough light into the room for the plant, the aeroponics system. So I put the mother in the breeding tank over here. The original babies are right there. Now I'm almost three inches long. Down here we got our big 10 inch daddy who's kind of shy. He kind of like to boss it a bunch. You can see him back there. And then I made some room under this bigger window for the aeroponics system. And uh, made some changes to the aeroponics system. One of the problems I had come up with in working on it is that um, we had created some extra holes in the tubing that goes up here near the top. Oh, there you go, up here underneath the top. And as you can see, here's all the various holes that we punched in. But the idea was we had one spray going toward a pot, another spray going toward a pot, and then we had one spray down here in the middle, like that, and that one spray in the middle was supposed to come down and aerate the lower tank area here. But what I learned through practice and discovery is that we didn't need that extra tubing, that extra hole. So I redid the tubing today and uh, discovered uh, we're going to have some interesting results. Every pot is getting sprayed really well and uh, we should see some improvement on the results in there. There's our Placo and over there's our Tilapia. These guys have been generating the goods for us. Uh, you'll notice that in this, in the secondary tank, I also took out the power head. And the reason for that is it was stirring up all this little muck right there. And we, I believe the muck is due to excess food that gets makes it through the filter and comes back out. So here's the game plan. We're going to put some um, pet shrimp in here for a little while. And... Uh, and I'm going to see if I can get some duckweed and I'll float it in here along with it. And we're going to see how the combination works inside of here for getting that little muck cleaned up. And all it, I think it really think it is is just excess solids that make it through the filter and end up in the, in the secondary tank. Not that it's causing any problems, but we are having a difficult time trying to keep these tanks clear so that we can see through them. Um, I go through a cleaning once a week on this tank and sometimes it looks so bad that I can't even see the fish. But the same thing goes for the baby tank over here, so I'm not sure what's really going on. I know I'm pretty sure that the baby tank is using a hob filter, which is probably too small. So my goal is to eventually get a larger hob filter for that one. But our larger tanks, as you can see, they've been pretty clean and clear. And you can see right through them. Uh-oh, Big Daddy's getting excited over here, chasing the play cow. Well, I guess he's decided to back off now. I think he knows we're watching him. He's a pretty bright guy. All right, so anyway, we're going to give these guys a little bit more time. Oh, uh, something else. Now that I've got the new water, I've discovered that with more with the water flowing through better I had to go through and add half a layer of rock wool just to keep the water from spraying out of the tank which is pretty important so it's getting through like little holes in that area so as you can see I've kind of gone through and put a half a layer of rock wool under each one of the plants that's why they're not looking too great right now so we'll see what the new lighting does we'll see what the new water system does I've also changed it to spray once an hour. If you want to see what it looks like, we'll take a quick, I'll change the setting, and you'll get a gander at it. Wow, there it goes, right off the bat. As you can see, it's hitting all of them now, and that's good. All right, that's it for now.
stay tuned for the next episode.